Hi, this is Manish Sharma. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we'll discuss Nifty and Magnifty for tomorrow's intraday trading session and we'll discuss the stocks as well. As I clearly told you in the last video, my view was bullish and my target was 9600 and 9900. 9900 target got, got achieved on Thursday uh, on expiry day and we exited our long position. But now the scenario has completely changed. If you see SGX Nifty, SGX Nifty is 600 points down. So now please understand the most important psychological part. Nifty is likely to open here, somewhere around here, 9200, 9300. So it will be a false breakout case. Understand the most important part. It's a false breakout case, right? If Nifty opens here, it will be a false breakout case. And big long positions have been trapped here. Big long positions. Now, whenever such kind of big positions get trapped, market goes in the same direction only it means if market open gap down do not expect that it will recover do not expect that it will give a bounce back no i think it will fall much more faster and you may see target of 9000 and 8800 very fast maybe on monday possible 9000 9000 and 8800 so you have to be a seller in nifty on monday and bank nifty looks much more weaker than nifty because you can see here bank nifty has not given a clear breakout in fact it has not not even sustained about 22,000 level in fact and you can see here this was the hurdle this was the resistance and again it is opening gap down so most likely i think bank nifty will open around 19,500 somewhere around maybe 1000 point or 1500 point gap down and do not expect any bounce back do not expect any bounce back because Positions are trapped. Long positions have been trapped. Big positions have been trapped. Whenever positions get trapped, market goes against the opposite direction of the position. Please try to understand this most important psychological part. So do not expect any bounce back. And in Bank Nifty, we are expecting 18,500, 18,000 target very fast. Maybe on Monday, possible, you may see 18,500 and 18,000 target in Bank Nifty. So this was the view for Nifty and Bank Nifty. Extremely bearish view. If Nifty breaks 8,800, which is an important support, then you may see levels of 8,300 and 8,000 as well. So don't expect that 8,800 will become a support and it will bounce back. No. 8,800, we have to see whether it is holding or not. If it is not holding, if it is breaking 8,800, then we may see 8000 and 7500 also possible in coming days so there is no kind of support in the market long questions have been trapped understand the psychological game and the trend is still down on weekly chart monthly chart trend is still down and you can see my nifty chart here nifty exactly completed 50 percent retracement of the entire fall so 50 percent retracement is done now it is big gap down and we may continue the trend on the downside. So 9000 and 8800 is the immediate target. And if Nifty breaks 8800, then you may see 8300 and 8000 as well. Let's start, let's discuss the stocks now. First stock is Bajaj Finance. Bajaj Finance, you can see here, there is a strong supply in this candle. You can see it made a high of 2490 and then it has fallen okay and the major trend is down only you can see here major trend is down only it has given up try to give a breakout here but if market is opening gap down it is most likely to open around 2100 odd levels so if it is opening at least 10 percent down around 2100 then again it will continue its downtrend and again it will be below this trend line okay. and it will continue its downtrend which is most likely if it is falling below 2000, then you may see 1800, 1700 levels in Bajaj Finance. So Bajaj Finance is a very good short candidate for tomorrow's intraday trading session. Second stock is Indusind Bank. Indusind Bank is a weak, weak stock. You can see here, it is not able to cross 500 level as well. And you can see here, it is most likely to give a breakdown. So you may see 440 and 400 levels in Anderson Bank, a fast fall we are expecting. Anderson Bank can also be a very good sell trade in tomorrow's intraday trading session. 
and last stock is SBI, State Bank of India. State Bank of India is a very weak stock in this kind of market. Uh, you have seen Nifty has recovered almost uh, 900 points from 9000 to 9900, but still State Bank of India is trading below 200, which is a sign of extreme weakness. So we are expecting a big fall in State Bank of India. Possible target may be somewhere around 175 and 150. These are the targets for State Bank of India. At what levels you have to trade? I already given a link of my Telegram channel in the description box. You can join the Telegram channel to get the level updates. And one more thing, uh, I would like to thank those people who have given me comment in my video that yes, I am following. Uh, we made a good profits in Bajaj Finance on your call. So thanks a lot for giving a comment and a request to all the, the viewers, please give a comment that you are following my calls and you are liking the videos and you are learning as well. So let me know how many of you are following my calls, how many of you are learning from my videos. So please give a comment and update me. If you like the video, like and share. This was the analysis for tomorrow's intraday trading session. Thanks a lot for watching the video. See you in the next video.